In the dark corners of superstition and lore, Friday the 13th has long held a place of trepidation and unease. A day marked by whispers of ill fortune and bad luck, it has woven its way into the fabric of our collective consciousness. A chill runs down the spine as the calendar turns, revealing this date that's so steeped in mystery. For some, this fear takes on a more tangible form, evolving into a specific phobia known as Paraskeva de Catria phobia. But where did these fears originate? Let's delve into the murky past to find out. The dread surrounding Friday the 13th is rooted in an intricate tapestry of history, religion, and mythology. This web of superstition weaves together elements from different eras and cultures, each contributing their own strand to the story. Let's begin with the biblical tradition. The Last Supper, a pivotal event in Christian faith, saw 13 individuals gathered at the table with the 13th guest, Judas, betraying Jesus Christ. This association of the number 13 with betrayal and misfortune has echoed through the centuries. Moving further back in time, we find another threat in the tapestry within Norse mythology. Loki, the trickster god, was the uninvited 13th guest at a banquet in the realm of the gods, Valhalla. His arrival led to the death of the beloved god Baldr, once again associating the number 13 with calamity. A significant historical event often linked to the superstition is the arrest of the Knights Templar. This order of Christian soldiers was apprehended on Friday, October 13, 1307, further entangling the number 13 and Friday with misfortune. But how did these disparate elements coalesce into the specific fear of Friday the 13th? Literature played a key role here. The novel Friday the 13th, penned in the late 19th century, narrates a story of a stockbroker causing a panic on Wall Street on this ominous date. This novel brought the superstition into the popular consciousness, firmly establishing the link between Friday the 13th and disaster. Over time, these beliefs have woven themselves into the fabric of Western culture, giving birth to the modern superstition of Friday the 13th. In our modern world, the superstition of Friday the 13th persists, fueled by media and popular culture. The cinematic world has played a significant role in embedding this superstition deeper into our collective psyche. The infamous Friday the 13th movie franchise, for instance, has intensified the perception of this day as one of horror and misfortune. Yet, when we move from the realm of fiction to that of fact, we find a different narrative. Numerous studies have been conducted to uncover a potential correlation between this supposedly accursed day and a rise in accidents or unfortunate events. The result? A resounding absence of any such correlation. Despite the lack of concrete evidence linking Friday the 13th to misfortune, the superstition endures. It seems to be impervious to the influence of logic and reason, perhaps because it is nurtured by a potent mix of folklore, religion, and pop culture. This enduring belief in the unluckiness of Friday the 13th is a testament to the power of superstition. It underlines how deeply ingrained such beliefs can become, even in the face of irrefutable evidence to the contrary. Despite its lack of a solid grounding in reality, the superstition of Friday the 13th continues to hold sway over the collective imagination. Yet not all see Friday the 13th as a day of doom. In fact, some are trying to reclaim it, to transform it from a symbol of fear into one of empowerment. Interestingly, this day and the number 13 have roots in feminine power and natural cycles. In pagan times, both Friday and the number 13 were celebrated, not feared. Friday was associated with the divine feminine, considered a lucky day for unions. 13, on the other hand, had deep connections to lunar and menstrual cycles. It symbolized something profound, the rhythm of life, the ebb and flow that women uniquely experience. But as Christianity rose to prominence, these pagan beliefs were demonized, leading to the stigmatization of Friday 13 and the goddesses associated with them. In recent times, however, there's a resurgence of positive associations. Consider pop superstar Taylor Swift, who sees 13 as her lucky number. She's had numerous successful moments associated with it, challenging the traditional narrative of doom and gloom. A testament to the power of perspective, wouldn't you say? So, whether you view Friday the 13th with apprehension or anticipation, one thing is certain. It's a day that continues to fascinate and mystify.